Welcome to CPU Galaxy. Well, years ago I had a great idea to create a chip rating matrix to give you a feeling about how collectible a CPU is. Yeah, for some reasons I did not follow up on that topic too much, but after some emails from you and some complaints I want to go on with this topic again. And here we are, a new chip rating video. And if you want to learn more about how the rating is done, please click the link below in the description and you can find out more there. The chip which shows up today for a rating is indeed something special. Ultra rare and extremely hard to find, we are talking about the Vitec 4167 floating point unit. The Vitec 4167 is a floating point coprocessor that was designed to be used in dedicated 486 based systems. It was released in 1989 and was based on a very long instruction word architecture, which allowed it to execute multiple floating point operations in parallel. The 4167 was designed to provide significant performance improvements over the Intel 387 coprocessor, which was the standard floating point unit for 486 based systems at the time. The 4167 was capable of executing up to 64 bit floating point operations and had a peak performance of 20 million floating point operations per second, or also called megaflops. One of the key features of the 4167 was its support for the IEEE 754 standard for floating point arithmetic, which ensured that it provided accurate and consistent results across different platforms. It also had a built-in cache for frequently used instructions, which helped to further improve performance. Despite its impressive performance, the Vitec 4167 never achieved widespread adoption due to the high cost of the chip and the fact that it was only compatible with a limited number of systems. However, it remains an important milestone in the history of floating point coprocessors and computer architecture. Then let's come to the rating. Even though the chip was not so popular, I will give here 4 points for its historical importance. Due to its completely different approach technically, compared to other floating point units, I need to give here 4 points as well. Yeah, and rarity, well, it's definitely maxed out at 5 points. This processor is so damn rare, it took me over a decade to get my hands on one. So if you have one in your collection, lucky you. You are very, very lucky. For the value I will give here 3 points. It's so rare that it's hard to estimate a collector's value, but I would see this chip in a good condition around 300 to 400 US dollar. With the golden markings and the golden Vitec letters on the beautiful purple ceramic package, I would say it deserves a 4 for the look. It's pretty pretty. <laughs> extra point? Well, because it's so rare and hard to find, it deserves an extra point as well from my point of view. Please consider that these ratings are based on my personal experience over several decades and my personal opinion. We end up here with a CPU Galaxy chip rating of 21 points, which is pushing this special processor to the area of king class. Yeah, and I'm very happy to have this in my collection here. Of course, I have also the proper hardware for it and very soon I will come up with a video on my channel where we will make some intensive testing. As usual, you can find in the description below a link to an Excel file where you can see all ratings I did so far on my channel here. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you soon, your Peter.